Hello viewers and welcome to my channel Lena here from DataLearner.com and in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can convert um, your PayPal money into your local currency into your local bank account using Flutter Wave. I made a video previously um, showing the different ways you can make um, convert get your PayPal money into your local bank account that is if the option of opening a, a business, um, a PayPal business account doesn't work for you, then this option is best for you. Now, this is best for affiliate marketers, for bloggers, for anyone who does um, any online transaction that will ask the person to collect payments um, uh, on PayPal. You have PayPal phones already somewhere that you want to. And what I recommended in that video, my previous video was that you need to get someone who is in a country where PayPal is accepted. You need to um, reach out to a friend who, are, who is in a country where PayPal is accepted. You can now use a person's email, PayPal email address to get these funds and then create an invoice using FlutterWave. FlutterWave is actually um, a payment gateway, one of the biggest payment gateway in Nigeria. And I love them because they allow you to accept, they accept multiple currency on your behalf. That means if you are here in Nigeria and you want to do business in dollar, you can actually use FlutterWave to do that transaction. For instance, in my dropshipping business, I actually use FlutterWave. So people can pay me in dollar from US and then FlutterWave will convert that dollar into Naira and send to my bank account. So that is how simple it is. It is best because they are set multiple currency. They have up to 27 different currencies that you can, um, uh, people can transact with. Um, so you can accept, they, they accept uh, dollar, they accept euro, they accept other local currencies um, that you can ever think of. So if you want to do business online, whether it's an e-commerce business or whatever you want to do, FlutterWave is actually the best platform. And I'm going to leave a link um, in the video description where you can go and sign up if you don't have an account already. Um, just use the link I provided in the video description below to actually sign up. All you just need to do, the processes are simple. Um, just come here to Flutter with click using the link I provided in the video description below and then cre click on create account. Um, if you have a business name, go ahead and create the account with your business name. If you don't have, just go ahead and create an individual account and you can still use it now one thing with flutter wave is that when you transact for instance when it mostly when it is in dollar um there are some huge amount of transaction you you make on your account and then the customer care a customer care representative will have to reach out to you to ask um the kind of business so you should be ready to actually explain yourself when you have those host transaction coming in so that they can get a clue of what the transactions are doing the transactions are carrying out using their platform so once you come in here um if you don't have an account already just use the link below and then create an account you just click on create and follow the on-screen instruction this video is not to show you how to create an account um it's just to show you how to create an invoice to accept paypal payment so i am assuming that you already have someone that can be accepting this paypal phone from for for you now if you don't have anyone who can accept these paypal phones and you have up to 500 dollars in your paypal account or wherever you have the money and you they want to pay you in paypal then um you should be able to contact me via my blog and i'll see how i can help you get that phone but it has to be up to 500 dollars and above um so so we don't have issues with transaction it must be 500 dollars and above that's the only thing that i uh, will make me uh, actually assist you on that but if not you can look for so i'm just assuming that you already have someone who will accept this paypal for you so all you just need to do once the persons accept the payment for um, once the payment is sent to the person's account you just um, create an account here and once you log into the back end of your account all of these are things you use to monitor your transactions you have your customers and the rest here any transaction that is made here automatically the customer's details are saved here for for you on the flutter wave back end but my interest here is on the invoice so if i go ahead and click on this invoice here you see it opens up here i don't have any invoice because i don't basically use an invoice i'm going to show you two options um you can create an invoice or you use the payment links so uh, basically i use payment links but you can use an invoice as well so once you click on the invoice tab here you just click on new invoice so you go ahead and click on the new invoice now this will be to the email you want to receive the payment from 
um, you just put the person's email here and then the date of the payment you you go ahead and put that there the currency which you want to accept the payment from um, in this case it's going to be us dollar if it is in euro whatever the uh, currency is go ahead and select that currency here as i said earlier floater wave can accept payment or to wait they have up to 27 different currencies there that they can accept payment on your behalf for so you just go ahead and select the currency here um and then you input in the invoice item you can just put in anything here whether one two or three or then about the quantity and the rest and then you put in the amount here so the total amount everything will be um, calculated here the subtotal and the rest and then invoice note if you want to put a note you just go ahead and click on that and then send invoice when you click on send you can save it and then copy the link to send or you just click on send invoice and that will automatically be sent to the email you created the person just need to click on the invoice to pay make the payment and it will take them to a page where they will make the payment once the payment is made it will be reflected in your account the other option is to use payment links payment links once again i'm assuming that you have someone that you can send your paypal um, fund to and then you just create this invoice and they can pay with all of these currencies that flutter wave have here um, they can pay in any of this currency and that will be converted once it gets to your account it will be converted to your local currency and that will be transferred to your bank account directly after a few days um, but, but normally when it is uh, foreign currencies it takes up to um, five business day to actually uh, um, settle for pay for flutter wave to settle that in your local bank account but if it is local currency like if naira um, the next day that will be settled into your account so the next form of creating this link is using payment links so if i go ahead and click on payment links um, I have some payment links created here already. All you just need to do is to click on create payment link. And then here you have the option of creating a single charge. You can create a subscription link um, where people can subscribe to making payment to you on a monthly basis or whatever they want to. You can create payment for donation. Um, you can create this for a donation page where people will just go in there and either donate uh, a one time, make it a, a one time donation to you. Or a recurring donation so any of these ones you want to you go ahead and create but i'll just go with a single charge here i just go and click on single charge and then you name this whatsoever you want it to be um let's just call this um, example so i just call this example and then the currency you go ahead and select whatever currency you want to use here in my own case i'll say it's us dollar so you select you have the option of adding the amount putting the amount the person is going to pay here or you just leave it open for the person to type the amount they want to send to you for instance let's say you send a thousand dollars to somebody's paypal account and you want to get it you can just go ahead and put in the thousand dollar here but in my own case i would say you leave it open because because of bank charges and all, uh, all the transaction charges i don't know even flutter with charges as well you may not want that person to you pay the exact amount even when it's going to incur some charges so you just leave it open the person puts in the amount so that if there are any charges you can just um, do the additions um, and subtractions here and then just send and then a description you can just go ahead here and add a description as you can see this is required so you must add a description here um and i'll go ahead and say it's example payment um this is um, this is just for demonstration by purposes so i'll just go ahead and click uh, example payment here so just go ahead and put in the little description there and then it gives you option there's a new tab here for more options i'll just click on that if you want to name the you want to name the web or the you want to change the address to be flutter way for slash anything it could be for slash your business name for slash your name or whatever then you go ahead and select if you want specific currencies you can go ahead and select that and that will be the only currency the person can pay with and then when they finish the payment after payment where do you want them to be redirected to if you want to redirect to any page you can go but all these things are not necessary so you just if you want to collect extra information you just click on um, here to add their different things like their emails their phone numbers address you want to but all these things are not necessary we are just concerned about our paper payment so you just create when once you finish clicking creating whatever you want to create you just go ahead and click on create and that will automatically create that paper uh, payment for you and once you finish creating it all you just need to do okay let's go ahead and create this let me just show you how that works 
um, as you can see this is it here it has been created you can go ahead and view if i click on the view here to open it that we open up the payment for us in a new tab so when the person comes here the person is going to put his name first name last name his email address and then he comes here to type in the amount of money the person wants to pay and just click on pay and once you click on pay it will open up um, um, a dialog box where you can pay with your credit card and the person will just credit that money and it will reflect in your account so the second one is to just copy the link here you just go ahead and copy the link and send to the person once you copy the link and send to the person um they will equally click on it and this is what they will see they put their name email address and then add the payment and click on pay so basically that is the simple way you can accept your paypal forms from wherever you've transferred it to and i hope this video was helpful if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends on social media and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, to be the first to be notified each time i publish new videos like this so until we see again share this video give it a thumbs up if there is anything you are stuck with please leave a comment in the video description i will not definitely um, reach out to actually attend to whatever query you leave on my comment so until we see again um there are useful links um, in the video description where you can go and check out uh, other businesses that I'm into and you see how that would actually help you. I probably have a WhatsApp group for those who want to go into WhatsApp, um, into Forex trading. You can join us in the WhatsApp group and we'll see how we can work together. So see you again in my next video.